the hour has come for us to begin to arise in the realms of light and perceive from the dimensions of the spirit that we must see that all things are possible when we go and walk through the light of God's word. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Now the scripture we read says, if we live in the spirit, we should also walk um, I need to learn how to walk in the realms of the spirit. I need to learn how to walk in the spirit realms. You know, you see, uh, don't be afraid to engage the spirit realms. Now tell somebody, don't be afraid to engage the spirit realms. Don't be afraid to ascend. Don't be afraid to relate with the princes of light in the realm of the spirit you know because the bible says if we live in the spirit we should also walk in the spirit and you know when you walk in the spirit you walk in the realm above the natural now let's let me give you the governing authorities within god's created realms you see the realm of the spirit supersedes the natural realms the the immaterial realms control the natural material realms so the governing ability in the realms of the spirit are stronger superior and far above the natural realms and we've been convicted and born and transferred and and given the ability to walk in the realms through the sound of the spirit through the vibrations of the spirit through the energy or the charisma of the spirit we can elevate above the inferior knowledge the inferior dimensions of this natural sphere men have become victims of nonsense victims of atrocities victims of disease old aging process confusion depression and satanic infusions and manipulations because they are captives normalized reduced and the prisoners of natural sensual captivity and realities but through the spirit we can arise and shine when we begin to teleport into the spirit realms of lights light can perform surgeries we can x-ray alisa la vida shasia do you know the light can permeate materials light can penetrate dimensions when the bible says we are the light of the world walk in light that christ god dwells in unapproachable light so what is it that concerns us as believers the very thing that is connected to us as believers is light is when we begin to understand the realms of light and how we can activate the frequencies of light you will realize that the princes of light the power the ability God himself and all the angels of God in 12 light the hour has come for us to begin to arise in the realms of light and perceive from the dimensions of the spirit that we must see that all things are possible when we go and walk through the light of God's word. Every man must come to a point where you discipline yourself to arise above your natural limitations, realizing that the light of God indwells your spirit. And of course, light is not just your mental assimilations of knowledge. Light is a dimension. Light is a habitation. Light is a dwelling place. God inhabits light. Angels inhabit light. And all the blessings of God are locked up in light. And when we come up in the place of the spirit, we begin to see light. Light carries the blessings of God light carries peace light carries joy light displays darkness and the bible says the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehends it not 
a time has come for us to dispense, to release light in the midst of every darkness. Darkness is overcome by light. And he sent forth his word and his word healed their destruction. So the word I speak unto you, they are spirit and they carry light. The word of God teleports light. Where the world is, light shines. When I live by the word of God, I am walking in light. When I exert the word of God above my urges, I have dispensed light. When I raise the word of God above my hearts, I have exhibited light to shine against the darkness of heart. When I live by the word of God against my sexual urges, then I have lived above the control of dimensions of darkness. Light ought to govern every aspect of our lives. New York, USA. It's time for Dimensions and Realms with the Bond Servant of Christ, John. Dates 23rd through 25th, May 2024. Thursday, 7 p.m., Friday, 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. Venue, Joseph A. Floriano Rochester Convention Center, 123 East Main Street, New York, 14604. Tickets are free for all. Come and receive freely from God. There is no cost charge to receive prayer or to consult the man of God. The conference is free. Dimensions of the Spirit. War against the Prince of Darkness in the atmosphere of Sydney, Australia with the bondservant of Christ, John. Venue, Sydney Olympic Park, The Dome, Sydney, Australia. Hall 5 and 6. Date, 8th through 10th, May 2024. Wednesday the 8th, time 5 p.m. Thursday the 9th, morning 10 a.m., evening 6 p.m. Friday the 10th, morning 10 a.m., evening 6 p.m. Register online to get your free tickets. www.keepthefaithministry.org slash conference.